Welcome everybody to a new episode of Atomic Junkie TV. Today I will go to show you the Soundflower application and the installation process and how you have to do the settings. First of all to make sure that you always get the yeah, most actual updated version go to the uh, website of the um, developer of Soundflower. This is cycling74.com products Soundflower. I will also add this link to the uh, description of this video. If you are on this page, you go basically to uh, free download. This will direct you to an um, download page and here you please look for the version that is close to your system. So if you are running um, OS 10 6 to 8, go for the 6, 166 beta version here. This is the, the newest one and it's uh, from August 2012. Um, if you have downloaded this version, um, you just open this DMG file that is downloaded. I will directly go to Soundflower because I have to install or had to install it in advance to have the possibility to show you. This will show up this little icon here and this is basically all you have to to do here. So no settings uh, necessary. What you can also do is you go to your uh, system preferences to check if Soundflower is installed correctly. You click on sound and you will see Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 64 channel. This is basically what we want to see. Okay, we can close this. Now we come to the um, setup, how you're gonna bypass two different sound sources into one output source. For this you go to your audio MIDI player. You just find it if you go to search audio MIDI setup. Click here. If it already open, so just go here. Um, normally your microphone will be set to built-in microphone and your output will be on built-in output to your system. You already see I have a um, setup here for it's called in German Hauptgeräte and Geräte mit mehrfachen Ausgang. We basically do this now also in the English version. I will show you how to do so. First of all, we want to record the two different sound devices. For this, we go to Add here, go to Create Aggregate Device. It will show you now all devices that are available. So this here, see in and output. We for sure can only choose one of those um, that have an input channel. So in my case, as I'm using a wireless um, headset, I have to choose that one. And for sure, I want to record the system audio or the game audio or whatever. This is then coming from Soundflower, so I also choose this. Okay, now we basically have two different um, sub-devices in our input channel and now we have to also say okay I also want to broadcast those two um, audio input sources to an or to m multiple output devices. For this we go again on this add button go to create output device multiple output device Right now you see the output um, is going to send to Soundflower. You can also say you want um, want to have it to AirPlay, built-in audio, wireless audio and so on. So in my case I'm using just Soundflower. What is really important um, afterwards is when you um, when you want to use this, yes, you go to your aggregated devices, go on the right click and say use this device for audio input. So with the microphone for the aggregated device here 
and for the multiple channels where you want to um, have this audio you go on right click and say use this device as sound output and this is basically it we need nevertheless we need a second um, application also running normally um, everybody was um, referring to Audio Hijack Pro this was in the past years free version this is now only um, yeah, you can only purchase this but the same uh, developers uh, of this rogue Aboe Bear they have also a, a free version so we go to this website this will also be listed in the video description go to freebies and go for this line in which is basically just um, putting through your um, microphone so I will also show you now this one we go have this application here the only thing that you have to do is you choose the input file again this is my wireless audio you can select it normally here if it is not running and you say where do you want to output it to of course we want to have it on Soundflower you select this as well you have once to play play through and then it is in um, it will be bypa bypassed um, I would suggest to do some uh, test runs so if you do this with um, OBS like I do just go for um, start record session not to broadcast already because it could happen that you broadcast and nobody will uh, hear what you're saying because you're not um, set or you haven't set up this correctly um, this is basically all what you need to do to set up the uh, bypass of two audio devices and uh, be able to broadcast to OBS um, thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments I will read them regularly and come back to you and provide any solutions so thanks a lot and see you next